It's been really hard to find time to do both Demolition Ranch and Vet Ranch videos lately. Um, so I was thinking like, what if there was a way we could combine them? What? And do like both of them at the same time. Like, like for instance, this dog needs an amputation. And we just... No. Hey guys, welcome to Demolition Ranch. So a few years ago, two or three years ago, I made a video called my EDC, Everyday Carry, for those who don't know. Everyday Carry means the stuff that you carry with you every day. Just think about it. So I wanted to make another video because it's been a couple years, a lot has changed, I've been in a lot of gun battles, so I figured out what works and what doesn't work. And so I've changed my kit a little bit, just wanted to update you guys. So let's just start off with the, the easy stuff that everybody has. So, of course, I have keys. I got truck key. My house key has a cat on it. Um, clinic keys, some lock keys, mailbox. I've got this little pry bar. It's got a wrench and a bottle opener on it. Um, I guess you could stab someone if you you know needed to in a pinch. Um, I've got a wallet, just like everybody. Wallet, credit cards, ID, like $3. Uh, got a phone, it's got a flashlight, it's got um, other features, calculator, uh, that's all the normal stuff. And then I've got a little pocket knife, a little flipping, uh, folding pocket knife, and then I've got a, a little fixed blade, you know, and that's what I always carry, but you know, normally you'd think that someone would stop if you were like that at them, but sometimes knives aren't enough, and so if I do need to, uh, to escalate it, I always carry a... Uh, a Glock. So this is a, um, a Glock 23. It's a, a 40 caliber. So I'm like, stop, sir. Stop what you're doing. And invariably, they never stop. They, they always keep coming. So I'm like, I will shoot you. And he just, he starts running. So takes care of that. Just knock him down. <laughs> so, but, you know, I'm always worried that like I'm going to pull my gun out and be like, I will shoot you and it, it just clicks and jams and I'm, so I, I don't want that to happen so I do always carry a, uh, a backup this is it's just a 380 it's not as big but it's a backup I do have an extra mag as well so pull it out that one jams and I'm like dang it but I've got the backup so I'm like stop what you're doing this is a 380 it's, it's a really tiny bullet but it will kill you it's just gonna take way longer and be more painful so think about it and the guy never thinks about it so you go ahead and just shoot and uh, take them down two for two um, and uh, that's yeah that's that's my everyday carry uh, I, I think it's it's actually pretty similar to what it was a couple years ago but um, just wanted to update you guys oh you guys want to see the truck I, I do carry um, a couple firearms in the truck just because you know you can carry more and the trucks always with me so that kind of counts as everyday carry too so um, you can see that like just look it in looks fairly normal you can probably see one little thing that's a little a little not normal but uh, this is uh, my, my trucks everyday carry just get you guys yeah perfect so truck everyday carry I always have get this holster out of here I always have a, a K bar a bigger knife you know just like you never know when you're gonna need a stab like seven inches into something so I do always carry a big knife there, just in case. Um, and then here, I have a little little glove box, and right on top, got a nine millimeter, because it's gonna be hard to get to these guns that are in my, my waistband, in my pocket, so got a gun right here, easy access. Stop what you're doing! No road rage! Sir, stop! Are you drunk? Are you drunk? He was drunk. Not anymore. So, took care. Oh, come on, gotta catch it. What happened? Hold on, hold on, hold on. See, that's what happens when you get too fancy, Matt. Don't get too fancy. I just want to catch that. <laughs> three for three. Okay, so, and I got I got that. I have um, two extra mags, so 30 extra rounds, plus that full pistol to stop the drunk guys or road ragers who are about to hurt somebody. I'm, I'm there to protect you guys, I'm here. But then sometimes, like, they're not just a little guy. Like, it's like a big bad guy, and he's charging. And that nine millimeter, it doesn't phase him. He doesn't care about no nine millimeter. So, I, 
I, I got that covered too. I have a little lock box inside the glove box that opens up. And then uh, I do always have a 1911. 1911 is chambered in 45 ACP. Big linebacker, sit down. Don't hurt that woman. He sat down. So you don't have to worry about him anymore. Man, my flipping stuff. Oh, still caught it. Still caught it. That, that counts. So linebacker's down. But then, do you ever worry that maybe there's gonna be multiple attackers coming at you? I do, like four or five. So it's gonna be hard to shoot every one of them accurately. So I do have a shotgun pistol. This is a little 410 Judge. And I'm like, whoa, all you guys, quit running at my truck. And uh, yep, that took down all four or five of them. So that's that. But if it's a human, we got it covered. What if it's not? What if it's a bear? Did you ever think about a charging bear? I bet you didn't, but I did. So I've got a bear gun. Um, it's stuck in here, but here we go. 44 Magnum bear gun, six and a half inch barrel, so I can take care of a bear. That's why they call it a barrel. Bear down. <laughs> Don't have to worry about that bear anymore. Um, so that's good, right? I mean, I'm. I'm not worried about football players, I'm not worried about bears, but what if it's something bigger than a bear? I know, that's what I was thinking. Say I'm on a safari in Africa and a freaking rhinoceros is charging at my truck? That's a real thing, that could happen and I might take this truck to Africa. So I've got a rhinoceros gun. This is the 500 Magnum. I hate shooting it, but I will gladly shoot it to keep from being killed by a rhinoceros. Stop! I had to tell him to stop because he just was still coming. So anyway took care of that rhino, but the problem is, as soon as I shot that rhino, there were a bunch of poachers who have been tracking him for months trying to get to him. Now they're pissed at me, and here they come. So, poachers have guns. I don't want to be around no poachers when they're coming with guns. So I come to the other side of my truck, get some cover, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna come from right here to this side, and I'm looking, and I'm like, Poachers are coming, they're coming for me, man. Uh, what am I gonna do? So, I know what I'm gonna do. I got this all planned out. Open this up. I've got a gun on this side, just for this scenario. So I'm like, where are them poachers at? There they are. Poachers are down. We're good. smoke those poachers but then I realized that over here now all this gunfires alerted some other guys they're coming up quick and there's too many of them for me to take out with a shotgun so I need something that can reach out and get them a little faster has a little bit higher capacity so right here oh yeah it's just a little little nine millimeter SBR no big deal get back that rhino was charging me so anyway, took care of those guys. Let's just go ahead and let's go ahead and keep this safe, guys. Dang it, I missed that one. So, ah! sorry, sorry, gun. Um, here, you can have your mag back. And and then I, I pretty much eliminated the threat over here. Um, I think we're I think we're good, guys. So just come back over here, get ready. Just get ready to drive the truck again, you know? I'm sorry I keep picking you up, I'm having to lift you over things. So get ready to drive the truck again, and then you're like, oh great, there's more bad guys coming. And these guys aren't just regular poachers and they're village friends. These guys are army. They're, uh, they're definitely ISIS army guys, all wearing body armor. I'm not scared, do I look scared? I'll just come over here, driver's side, AK-47. <laughs> Body armor, smarty, smarty armor. Hold on, you gotta take it off safety before the single fire. Weird gun. So, anyway, all these guys, ISIS guys, I'm like. And I probably would shoot like a lot more because there's usually a lot more ISIS guys. But anyway, took them out. Not a problem anymore. Go ahead and just close it up. Life is good. Oh no! All these guys are coming up the hill. They're coming up this hill right here toward me. And I don't have time to go back to that door and open it up and swing out that long gun. So just open this door up. Don't worry. Got a rifled 
calibered pistol here so I can get through their body armor and the length of pull is a lot shorter so I don't have to worry about swinging it out and this is the Zenith, what is it, a Z43P, shoots a 5.56. Took care of all us guys. So anyway, that's uh, I'm sure I keep that, but oh no, would you look over there? Hold on, there is a man over there. He's about four or five, no, that's 500 yards. I'm eyeballing it, 500 yards away, and he is about to assault a woman. Demo Ranch, we will not stand for that. The demolition will not stand for that. But he's too far away for me to hit with one of these iron sight guns. Like 500 yards, I might hit that woman. I need something more accurate. Well, not a problem. Look, check this out. I don't know if you guys have seen this. I know you have, but it was a long time ago. Seat pulls up, right? We got a lock box underneath. We just open up the lock box. What do we got? Oh, thank goodness. We have a sniper rifle in this lock box over here. So here's whatever you, here, so I can't talk. I've just been working too hard fighting on these bad guys. Here's what you do when you see a man about to assault a woman. You first give him a chance. Sir, step away from the woman. I'm serious. I will shoot you. Step away from the woman. Oh, he's about to hit her. I had to. And then, like, he's down, but I want to put one more shot where it counts just because he was about to assault a woman. So, took care of that little problem. Then I'll just tuck my sniper rifle away, hiding under the seat. Good to go. So, yeah. I don't know if you guys can see him. He's pretty far away, but he is not a threat to that woman anymore. Oh, no. Oh, would you look at that. Hold on. You can't see it because it kind of it kind of blacked me out. <laughs> There's zombies coming up now. I didn't even think about zombies. Just kidding. I did think about zombies, so not a problem. Got a little compartment here with a little, little zombie gun. Ready? Get out of the way, zombie. Took care of those zombies. Piece of cake. Oh no, I actually didn't. They're all still coming. It's because I didn't hit him in the head and they're wearing body armor. I hate body armor zombies. Don't worry though. We know how to handle this. We got an AK-47 pistol right here. Should go right through that body armor and I can hit him right on the head if I aim. Yep. That's how you take care of zombies wearing body armor. Put that right back up in here. And uh, guys, I think we did it. So now you come back over here to tailgate, get yourself a little celebratory beverage, and just just enjoy yourself. What's that? Oh no. More guys with body armor, and I don't have time to get back over there, plus I blew all my ammo already. But I've got a little compartment here. Can you guys see this? Yeah, you can see it, good. I've got a little compartment here that I always keep my 5.7 pistol. 5.7s shoot these little tiny bullets, but they're going super fast. They go right through pistol body armor like it's butter. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. I'm so good at that today. All right, so went ahead and took care. Oh, no. There's a guy running, and he has two layers of pistol body armor on. It stopped that thing. What is a guy to do about that? Oh, I know. I've got a Desert Eagle. This won't go through his body armor. Yeah, but it hit him so hard in the body armor that it smashed his chest, broke all his ribs. He's dead. So, don't have to worry about that guy anymore. Uh, the problem is though, now that I knocked those guys over, I see another threat. Well, it's not a threat to me, but you guys aren't gonna like this. Over there, at about a uh, thousand yards, there's another man about to assault something. It's not a woman this time, it's, it's worse. He's about to assault a puppy. No! But he's a thousand yards away. None of my guns are gonna reliably be able to hit that guy at a thousand yards, even my sniper rifle. Wait, I've got just a gun. Oh yes, 300 Winchester Magnum. Okay, so let me just dial this thing in. Dial, 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 and then, so like you saw before, when there's a man about to assault a woman, you give him a chance. You say, back off, bro. 
I'm going to shoot you if you do anything that I don't like. And if they don't, then you shoot them. When a man is about to assault a puppy, you say, here's what you say to him. You don't say anything. You just shoot him. You do not assault a puppy. Okay. Yep. Sorry, I kind of lose my cool whenever people are assaulting puppies. A woman's one thing. Not a puppy, though. So I took care of that guy. Let me just let the dust settle. Oh no. He's still standing. And what's worse is I think he's still trying to assault that puppy. He probably has body armor on. Let me look. Uh, oh man. He's got freaking level four body armor on. That will stop up to a 30-06 armor penetrating round. Which means it'll definitely stop through in a Winchester Magnum. What is a guy to do to protect that puppy? Oh, I know. Yep, this ought to do it. I got a, oh, I got a bigger gun. This will go right through that body armor. 50 BMG, get away from the puppy. Man, that was a slick hit. He's got a hole the size of a football in his chest now, but that puppy's fine. Oh, it's playing with the little kid. That's cute. Oh, God, it's good. Okay, so that's, that's just where I keep the, uh, the old Barrett. So, Anyway, that's um, that's pretty much it for the uh, like offensive guns. I do have one more gun up here, and this gun is it takes a little bit of setup time, and so it's it's more when you're planning an ambush on somebody when there's a bunch of targets. Like like if you know for a fact that there's about to be 50 terrorists in the area, like none of these guns are gonna help me against 50 terrorists, but that one will. It just, you gotta be set up for it. So I need to go up, some assembly is required because it doesn't fit up in that tent up there. Uh, and by tent, I mean mobile artillery unit. Uh, it doesn't fit up there put together. So I gotta, I gotta put it together real quick. I'll, um, if you guys just hang tight, I'll, I'll do that. So what you do is first you, you open up your mobile utility area and then, and then, oh no! Someone was hiding, sneaking up on me, when I was getting ready to shoot it. I don't have time to get, there's no ammo in any of these guns, so what do you do? I'll tell you what you do. You come over here, you grab the uh, mare's leg 357 Magnum out of the truck's tailpipe, and you blast them. And then you, you put it back in the tailpipe. Very carefully, so you don't scratch it. Uh, and then, I'm gonna go ahead and set this up, because there is gonna be a little, uh, little invasion coming in about, about uh, five minutes. So if you guys just hang out, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get. Oh, let me just show you, just, just because it's awesome. Look at, look at this. I got a sleeping bag in there too, just in case I need to take a nap after all this. Uh, I'm gonna let you guys just hang out for one sec while I do some work. So, just, just chill. I'm gonna give you something fun to do though, because uh, I don't want you to be bored. So, you need to sell your guns. Listen, with the money you make off your guns, you can pay off your mortgage, you can start a college savings account. When I was a kid, I used to build tree houses and then go up and pretend to shoot bad guys out of them. Not a lot's changed. <laughs> You guys see that? I have those little burn marks all over my legs. I didn't really think that I'm gonna be sitting on the mattress up there so it's gonna be squishing it down. And all the shells will roll right into my legs. So, kinks, I have kinks to work out, not a big deal. I know one thing that everybody's probably thinking is, Matt, yeah, you got guns, the guns are all loaded up, but you don't have extra ammo. Bro, we got ammo. There's just a little of it back here. Check it out, that thing comes out. Full of ammo down there. We got ammo, and then uh, over here, show you one more. There's another one here. Let up. I can't reach it from there. We got ammo, don't you worry. And now I know one other thing you were probably thinking is like, Matt, that's a pretty cool gas can you got over there. I know, it is a gas can, but 
The thing that you may not know about said gas can is said gas can is not a gas can at all. It's full of ammo too. Totally full of ammo. Guys, I've thought this through. Years and years of experience has built this, my mobile defense slash offense vehicle. We're good. Thanks for watching Off The Ranch. Dang it. Ah, oh, so close to making a perfect video. Speaking of, go watch Off The Ranch. You can see everything about this truck if you're interested in this stuff. Thanks for watching Off The Ranch. I love you. And see you next time. Contact. That's a great idea. <laughs> what about the quad hog? Bobby! I'm a doctor. Ish.